cut here. And then there's some stuff up there. Okay. So I'll go this way first. Gotta open up this uh, stag station. As you can see, when I kill them, they're just little tiny bugs covered in leaves. As are most of the enemies in these leafy areas. And then there's this big guy. I don't know what this is all about. He doesn't reveal anything with the dream nail. Sometimes there's just cool background shit. That's all it is and all it ever gonna be, and that's fine. Jeez. Little jump monkeys, get out of here. I think I got them all. What's this over here? Some kind of place? I wonder how we get there. I also wonder if there is a secret somewhere around here. It seems like the kind of place they would hide a secret, but I can't be honest to find one. Hmm. nice thing about that spell is it can hit multiple times, because it uh, sort of lingers for a moment. Oh, God, I remember admiring this. So you come up here, you see a shiny, and of course you just go for it, right? You're not expecting anything. And then you go over, you pick it up, and your character ducks to pick it up. And then an enemy that you had no way of seeing beforehand just comes out and snaps you and barely misses because he ducked. Fucking genius. favorite RPGs is Dragon's Dogma. I like that one. I didn't finish it. I should play it again someday. Maybe on stream. Probably not. Oh, I don't know. That could be good. Because Dragon's Dogma has like that multiplayer-esque component where you can affect other people's games by the NPC you create? Fuck. And it's another Dream Warrior. And I will kill him in just a second. call the stag because we will need them later. Not just yet. Now we'll fight this dream warrior. Oh, the queen. The queen is coming. I've been waiting so long and now she's almost here. I feel like I'm about to burst. I've kept it safe, the sacred garden. I've kept it safe for all this time and soon the queen will return and teach me to fly. Shall we wait together, stranger? Shall we play together? I mean, yeah. <laughs> So this is a beach ball boss. He's all right so long as you don't get too greedy. Because you can bounce him. So theoretically you can get through that without ever being hit. It's completely in your control. 
Wop, come here, stuff. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really know what I was gonna play after this, so if people want to see Dragon's Dogma, it's not off the table. And certainly, if anybody created a pawn for for me, I might use them. Uh, right. Let's see. So now I need to go up there. Okay, and then I need. Hmm. I'm actually gonna go somewhere else. Oh, he's found the stag nest where he was born and raised. Well, sh shit, yeah, son, let's go. Alright, so we've had a bit of Queen's Garden. I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to go elsewhere and do other things. Because there are other areas I've got to revisit. Wop. I got another Majigger. Okay. I don't know what this is. It... Like... That does nothing. Let's start from up here. Nothing. It's just weird. Broken egg, it is empty. So now if I go and talk to him. Ow. Nope, wrong way. And of course, I didn't mention it, but there's all these dead stags in the background here. Talk to him. What do you think of my old home, little one? It was full of life once, stags coming and going, swapping stories of the places they'd been and the passengers they'd met. For a long time now, I've considered myself the only one remaining, the last stag. But being in the nest again, there's something in the air. A smell or a warmth or a presence, perhaps? Could it be other stags have made their way out into the wider world? Yes, I will hold on to that hope. My kin, still alive, still out there, journeying beyond these lands. But for me, I could never abandon the stagways. Not as long as passengers still need them. I can tell you still have important work to do, don't you, little one? I will be your companion as long as my old body still serves. Let us enjoy the old stagways of this kingdom together a little longer. <clears throat> oh, I love him! He's so helpful! You're pretty sure it resets my elevator? Well, there's an easy way to test that theory. Elevator comes back on its own. Just like every other elevator in the game. Just some weird platform. Maybe it'll have something in the DLC. Maybe the DLC is just gonna be fucking a new stag teaming up with Hornet, solving mysteries. That's my sincere hope. Okay, now I'm back here because there's shit I need to get. Wonderful was. This is where I really need to be. Because as I recall, yep, I'm missing a charm that I can get right here. Well, shit. Well, double shit. Okay. I can play your game. Okay, I can't play your game. I give up. I concede. I'll be cautious. Just stop killing me. Platform looks like a bigger elevator. An elevator for stags. Yeah, that's what I figure. But it's still kind of weird that it interacts with the player character. Because there's tons of background details like that throughout the rest of the game. But none of them really behaves in such a way that I think, well, 
I must be able to do something more with this. Most of the time it's very clear that it's just like a detail. And you can be like, oh, that's cool, and then move on with your friggin' life. So I don't know. I'm still mildly hopeful that it becomes more relevant in the DLC. Maybe not in the exact way that I said, but... You know, we see that there's this broken eggshell, that there's another stag out there somewhere. And, you know, with the main story done, uh, it would be cool to see what Hornet does afterwards, and maybe that involves saving the stag. Oh, I see you bear my blessing. Can't remember giving it, but my memory's been a little lacking of late. Well, that's because you're dead, bitch! And now you're in my sword! This game is weird. Hornet charging into battle on a stag? Hell yes! What part of that wouldn't be amazing? I'd love it if Quirrell was in it too, but I kind of feel like his story got a nice... got nicely wrapped up. Okay, now there is... another thing... somewhere around here. That's not it. Okay, well that's just the bottom. Goes to another area. Ha ha ha! No! Ah! 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 Now, interestingly, oh, wrong button. Interestingly, I can try to leave Hallow Nest, but the fierce winds will not allow it. Or perhaps I'm simply being drawn to it too strongly. I can. Break windows. Ow, fuck you. God, I suck at fighting regular-ass enemies. I'm saving all my competence up for the bosses, I swear. Because I'm gonna need my competence. Some of the bosses get really hard. Gathering a little entourage here. But I'm too fast. There's more on the way. Did I kill the sign repair guy yet? Uh... I've only gotten him to spawn once, and I didn't kill him. He flew away too fast. Like, I've attempted to farm him. Like, you know, enter and leave the area repeatedly, breaking the sign each time. Like, I know how to do that. But the chance of him spawning is just so low that it only happened when I was not expecting him. Because the way to... Okay, got it. The way to find him and then kill him is to charge through using the super dash. But I didn't have it yet. But I do know about him. For anyone who doesn't know what Sniper the Ninja is talking about, in the first room of the for Forgotten Crossroads, there is still a guy here. Perfect. I was worried I came up here for nothing. Oh, hello. This fight's a lot easier when you come back much later. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, in the first room of the Forgotten Crossroads, there is a sign that points back up the well that you dropped down, 
and like you can't interact with it except to break it. It doesn't you can't read it, you know? But you know, if you break it and then come back, it respawns like all the other breakable stuff, like these little whatever they are, sarcophagi, uh, statues, I don't know. And these weird legs. Like all that stuff respawns if you leave and come back. But the difference is the sign when it respawns is all jacked up. Like it's all twisted and rickety and crappy. And at first that just seems like a weird detail. Kind of funny. But there is a very, very small chance that if you break the sign and re-enter the room, a creature called a mender bug will appear. And he's the one who goes around fixing all the stuff that you break. Or he's one of the mender bugs that does so. Anyways, if he sees you, he will fly away, like, really quickly, so he's really hard to kill. You pretty much have to use the super dash, like this move, because that'll kill them if you hit him with it. Uh, and, like, you don't get anything for killing him except an extra entry in your hunter's journal. But it doesn't stop there. Oh, no. Killing him opens up a secret room elsewhere in the Forgotten Crossroads. It doesn't tell you that it's opened up, it doesn't give you any indication, but if you go and visit it after killing the Mender Bug, the door will be open, you can go inside, and it's his house. And inside his house... So to dive down from the town? Well, that can work too, I guess. Uh, you can go inside his house and you can read his diary, and it's just him talking about how much he loves fixing things and how good life is, and he's getting all geared up for MenderCon 2017 or whatever. Basically, it just makes you feel like a complete asshole for killing this little guy. Just one of many little awesome details in this game. Pop. Now, there's a secret up here I have to go get. There's actually a couple secrets I have to get. I'll go down first because it's closer. I guess. finish the Hunter's Journal, you get to fight a secret boss. That's true, but that secret boss is not part of 100% completion, and I don't want to spend all that freaking extra time, so... We're out of luck. I feel like that last one is the only one that was actually set up properly for the timing to charge through it. The others were kind of random. Deep focus. Fun fact, on my very first playthrough of this game, this was the one charm, the last charm that I couldn't find for the life of me. I had to look up a guide. I think, I think it's pretty much the only element of 100% completion that I had to look up, that I wasn't able to find just through through exploration. Just because you have to break down a wall to get it, and it's like kind of obscure. Oh, I have no magic. That's why I can't use my spell. Herp derp. So you remember this room, perhaps, where I fought a guy who shot laser beams out of his hands. I'm gonna go fight him again. He is really quite difficult. Because he deals two damage on all his hits. But I have a lot of upgrades, so fuck him. Pow. 
He still did four damage to me just in those few seconds that I was furiously flailing away at him. Cool, so that's that. There are probably some grubs that I missed that are hanging out in some of the lower rooms here. But I don't know that for sure, so I'm not going to waste a lot of time going and looking for them. If I find out once I get the grub map, because there is one, if I find out once I get the grub map that I missed some dudes, I will go back at that time. But maybe, just maybe, I got them all. I can, I can always hope, right? Shit. are bugged out. That was cool. I see it. I'm coming back for it. Don't worry. I still can't one-shot these guys. It's kind of annoying. Pun not intended. Pun always intended. That's all right, I got what I needed. I can just backtrack. Now, as long as I'm dicking around here, I may as well go and get that secret grub map. I know exactly where it is and what I need to do. I do like the platforming puzzles in this, they're really satisfying to do. Just like those snail things in Link Between Worlds? Pretty much. It's kind of a standard sort of completion game-spanning fetch quest thing. Just like, hey, there's a hundred things, go find them all. And I'll give you stuff the more you get. Not saying that it's bad that it's common. Quite the opposite. It's common because it's fun. Please tell me I remembered to open this. 
Oh, thank God. Cheers, past LSN. Finally did your fucking job for once. Instead of leaving it for me. though. So this is the collector. He's the guy who puts all the grubs in the jars. He's also a fucking creep. As if putting people in jars wasn't evidence enough of that. Ow. He spawns minor enemies from earlier in the game. I don't know what this guy's deal is within the lore of the world. Like, is he... what is he? Is he a bug? Is he a void creature? Like... He's kind of voidy. Up, oh, got him. Said I got him. There he goes. He dissolves in the void goop. Did I get sword beams yet? Uh, I don't think so. Not that I would use them if I had them. I don't think they're that good. Taking the collector's map. Hold tab to view a map. Grubs will be displayed. Looks like I've got them all in here. Let's check the big map. Uh, I've got everything around there. Got everything around there. Got everything in Deep Nest. Oh wait, no. I missed one in the Ancient Basin. Okay. I did miss one in Crystal Peak. Okay. And one in Green Path. That's weird. Two in Green Path. Okay. That's not so bad, actually. It's about what I expected. 